So in today's video, we'll be making a leveling system without a database. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is create a Discord bot. And I have my bot here, it's, it's Lyra. And you need to go into your bot and make sure you have your token, which you can get in the bot area. So you just reset your token and then copy it. Once you have that, open up your IDE. I am using Replit as always. Replit, please sponsor me. So in the main.py, we want to import commands. So from discord.extensions, import commands. Uh, we want to import discord. And since my last video, they've changed the code a lot. So we have to account for that and import asyncio. And then we want to also make a new document and I'm gonna call it levelsys.py. We can import level sys, and of course, we'll be using a cog system so that because I'm going to assume that this isn't the only cog that you're going to want to have. Uh, that is really, they should really change. <sighs> so, cogs equals level sys in square brackets, please, because it is a list. And then, you know, when you get other cogs, you can put them in this list. I equals discord.intents dot all and client equals commands dot bot. So the command prefix is what you'll use to call your bot. And I always use a question mark. Intents equals I. Ah, I missed, I, I have misspelled commands. I actually can't see in these glasses. I'm not going to lie. So since the last videos, they have changed a few things. Firstly, to load cogs, they're now asynchronous, which means we need a function to load all the cogs. So async def load for I in range length cogs await cogs I dot setup and client. So we haven't written this setup part and this setup part will be written in all of your cogs. And then we need a main function. So async def main async with client await load await client dot start. And in these speech marks, you'll need to take the token, which I told you to get from the developer portal. Below all of this, you put a syncio dot run main. And then now we move on to level sys. So in level sys, we want to import discord, we want to import commands again, and we also want date time. So let's write the class. So class level sys commands dot cog def init self and client and self dot client equals, or can you guess? It equals client. <laughs> And we also need to write the setup command we had in the main.py. So async def setup await client.addcog level sys client. So back in the init, we're gonna want to use a dictionary to store all of the data. So self.level data equals and then curly brackets for dictionary. And now we're gonna write the startup command which tallies all of the message data. At commands.cog.listener, async def on ready. So the first thing we need is a way to reference the, the Discord server. So I'm gonna to go to my Discord server, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click copy server ID. And if you don't know how to get to this, you need to enable one of the developer settings in your Discord settings so that you can find all of these useful IDs. So then guild equals self.client.getGuild and then you want to paste your guild and now we're going to run through all of the channels in the server and tally up the scores for channel in guild.channels message equals and then square brackets message async for message in channel.history so after equals date time dot today dot replace day equals one sorry let's make that messages it's not just one message and then for x in messages so in this for loop we're going to tally up the messages that are sent by one person so if x.author.id is in dict then dict x.author.id equals dict x.author.id plus one else and if there's an else that means this person doesn't have a score yet so we'll set that to one so to make it easier for ourselves we're going to want to sort this dictionary based on the score of everyone so that later we can get things like ranking data really easily so let's make a temporary which sorts everything so temp equals sorted dict dot items key equals lambda x x one for iron range length temp self dot level data square bracket temp i zero equals temp i one 
oh, I've wrote this entire thing and it's not indented. So the next thing we want to do is add to the score when someone sends a message. So at commands.cog.listener, async def on message, self and message, if message.author.id is in the self.level data. So this checks if they've already got a score. Self.level data, message.author.id equals the same thing plus one. And else, which means they don't have a score yet, self.level data, message.author.id is equal to one. Once again, I haven't indented it because I'm stupid. And, and the last thing we want is the rank command. So commands.command async def rank self and ctx. If ctx.author.id is in self.level data, xp equals self.level data ctx.author.id rank equals list self.level data index ctx.author.id and then xp times equals five and level equals zero. For every message that's sent, you get five xp, which is why I've times it by five. And then we need to calculate the level. So while true, if xp is smaller than 50 times the level data squared plus 50 times the level, then break. Otherwise, level plus equals one. And then after that, XP minus equals this, but we want to minus one off the level. Let's put brackets around these. And then boxes equals integer XP dash 200 times half times the level times 20. And then we want to create an embed. So embed equals discord.embed title equals, and then we want a placeholder dot format ctx dot author dot name, nothing for the description. And then I want to set the color to the classic max codes blue and then embed dot add field name equals name. Uh, value equals ctx .author mention and inline is equal to true. And then let's add another field, embed.add field name equals xp. And then the value is equal to, let's use an f string, xp int of 200 half times the level. Again, putting inline equals true. And then embed.add field name equals level and the value is also equal to level and inline is also equal to true. Man, this is a lot of fields. And then we want to add the rank. So embed dot add field name equals rank value is equal to another F string rank dash ctx dot guild dot member count. Again, inline is equal to true. And then the last embed we want is the boxes. So embed dot add field name equals progress bar value equals boxes times uh, we want the blue square emoji plus 20 minus the boxes times white squares to fill the rest of the space inline equals uh, you're gonna have to guess but it's actually false and the last thing we want is to set the thumbnail to person's avatar so ctx .author display avatar lastly await ctx .channel send embed equals embed you need an else to basically say hey you don't you haven't sent anything yet so ctx .channel send you have no rank and that is everything. Closing parentheses does not match opening parentheses. Probably that one. Well, it's online. There we, there we go. Question mark rank. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Wilted white large square. At some point you just start wondering, oh, maybe I'm just stupid. White large squares, white large square. Okay, question mark time, time to do it again. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm a goddamn genius. Don't doubt me again. And that is it for today's video. Hopefully, a new video is coming soon. But you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make promises anymore. Like, you know, the videos will come when they come. But I will see you next time. Have a good day.